Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while here now. Uh, we are going to be looking at two of the greatest basketball players of all time, pound for pound. Uh, one being the answer, Allen Iverson, and the other one being the current superstar point guard for the Boston Celtics, Isaiah Thomas, or at least an all-star man. If anything, he's been playing great basketball. But uh, basically, what I want to see is what would happen if these two players switch teams. Now, what I'm doing here, guys, is basically I'm using the uh, 2001... Um, Allen Iverson led Philadelphia 76ers, but I'm putting Thomas on that team as a shooting guard. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because it was pretty much Iverson and everybody else. You know, he had some good defenders out there and whatnot, but uh, he pretty much had to do everything by himself out there. So I thought it would be interesting to see, you know, Isaiah Thomas without all of the uh, to, uh, tools he has out there with the Boston Celtics. If he could, like, go out there and put up 30 points a game or something crazy like that. With the Boston Celtics, though, we're giving Allen Iverson the team that he never really had, man, because, like, Iverson was always kind of, I mean, some say he was a selfish player, but at the same time, it's like, I, I look at some of the teams he's played with, and it's just like, it was just Iverson, and then just some other dudes out there, so, I want to see what he can do in a system, you know, as the point guard of this team, uh, you got Avery Bradley, Jay Crowder, you got Al Horford out there, Marcus Smart, guys like that, so, definitely some good tools to see um, if Allen Iverson can really make this team great, and potentially win himself an NBA championship. So, uh, yeah, guys, what we're going to do is just simulate the, whole uh, the entire season here. And actually, real quick before we get started on that. By the way, if you could do me a quick favor, guys, and drop a like on this video. If you want some more of these player switch uh, scenarios, um, also let me know which ones you want to see in the comment section below. So, I want to put Allen Iverson as first scoring option on here. And I want to put uh, I want to put Isaiah Thomas as first scoring option on here. And uh, let's start the simulation, guys. Let's get right to it. I guess we can do this. Actually, look at the uh, playoff picture. That will give us both teams' records. Um, I guess is both teams should do pretty damn good out there. Um, you know, thing about Allen Iverson is like, yeah, it's like there is Avery Bradley and Jay Crowder and Al Horford, but is he going to use those players? And so far, 2K not giving uh, Allen Iverson the respect out here, man, is this team's not doing very good. Um, God, the 76 is not even on the list. Oh, my God, 2K. Oh, wait, they were for a second. They were for a quick second, guys. I actually switched out the uh, current day 76ers, but both teams not doing well, so maybe we'll just... Uh, I guess a Boston Celtics actually doing a lot better than the 76ers. Isaiah Thomas not doing the grand that team though, guys. I, I know it's a you know 2K generated team, so like I don't think all the players are on there, but the, you know most of the players are on there. You know I turned fatigue off too, just so that's not really a factor. But uh, all right, I'm sorry guys. Allen Robinson actually balling on the Celtics now, first place. And I gotta say guys, I will. I I feel like this day and age of the NBA would be perfect for Allen Robinson because the uh, NBA is definitely a guard dominated the league right now so Allen Iverson I just he's so much fun to watch he just has that swag to him one of my favorite players of all time I remember when uh you know it, it was the downfall of my Detroit Pistons but I do remember when they traded Chauncey Bills for Allen Iverson it was still a very cool moment because like oh my god my favorite player is joining my team but at the same time Chauncey Bills is also my favorite player of all time it's just uh at that time the Pistons I guess they were on like a five game win streak it didn't really make much sense to me but whatever um as far as Isaiah Thomas goes you know, you gotta love Isaiah Thomas. I feel so bad that he's out for the rest of the playoffs, although the Cav or the uh, Cavaliers are just destroying the Celtics at the making this video, at least. Who knows, man? Is Game 3 gonna be tomorrow? So maybe the Celtics come back and win four games to two? Wouldn't that be a story? If it is, man, let me know in the comment section if that happened. My guess it probably did not. But, uh, alright, so both teams are gonna make playoffs. So that's nice, at least. I, th I got scared about the 7 for a second there, man. I'm curious what kind of stats both these players put up. But uh, we almost know the playoff, or we almost know the regular season simulation right here. Hoping they actually kind of meet in the playoffs. Isaiah Thomas against Allen Iverson. But yeah, I would definitely say Isaiah Thomas is the modern day Allen Iverson of the NBA. His yeah, Celtics actually beat him right there, 86 82. And uh, Celtics down to the second seed. And we got the. Uh, oh, first seed now. Okay, okay. We getting there. We getting there. A few more games left in the season. At least I thought so. Damn, dude. Maybe I, should, maybe I should just do math and know how to add up to like 81. Because there's. Or 82, whatever it is. All right, about a six, about a 60 win team for the Celtics. Uh, 76 to struggle kind of a bit, but not too bad. Simulate through date and took an L right there. Uh, Russell Westbrook MVP still. Yo, uh, wow, I never seen that before. Ivica Zubac, actually, uh, rookie of the year. All right, we don't got uh, Isaiah Thomas didn't make All NBA second team. Iverson uh, did not make any team out there. That's wow, that kind of threw me off. All defense team for Iverson though. Right, let's look at these player stats. We got. Allen Iverson, lean score at 28 points per game, 6.2 assists, 3.6 steals, got a few rebounds out there too. Um, yeah, man, I mean, because how many points did uh, Isaiah Thomas average? It was around like 28, wasn't it? Something like that, maybe 27? So yeah, it's like, he actually played kind of similar style to how uh, Isaiah Thomas did play. 
Uh, but not really much has changed, man. I mean, the team finished second, so they were first seed in real life. Let's look at the uh, Isaiah Thomas here real quick. See what kind of numbers he put up at the shooting guard position, too, might I add. All right, we got... Damn, Isaiah! <laughs> wow, dude. This is, this is like, goes to show how similar these two players are, man. Isaiah Thomas actually low-key played like the real-life Allen Iverson on the 76ers. And Allen Iverson actually low-key played like the real Isaiah Thomas on the Boston Celtics, man. That is absolutely crazy. Like, I've never actually seen a player average like that many crazy points like this um, in a simulation like this. Let's do these playoffs real quick here. And both teams, okay, so both teams win. They will meet each other in the uh, playoffs. Simulate current round. And, okay, oh, 76 is out of it. All right, well. Close out game for uh, Isaiah Thomas, 36 points, 8 assists. Uh, Allen Robinson and the Boston Celtics sweep the Pacers four games to zero. We got Allen Robinson with 41 points balling out there, dude. Okay. Toronto Raptors next round, simulate current round. And, oh my god, I lost. Y'all just blow a 3-1 lead, Allen Robinson? Did they just blow a 3-1 lead? I think they just did. Come on. I wow, almost looking like Russell Westbrook with that triple-double out there. Uh, Kelly Olnick, Larry Bird, a.k.a. 18 points. But, uh, damn, dude, the team did not play very well. Uh, honestly, it's like, yeah, DeMar DeRose and Kyle Lowry absolutely killed him out there. But let's check out these playoff stats here real quick, see how they both teams performed. Isaiah Thomas had about 39 points per game in the playoffs. Wow, dude. Crazy. And we got Allen Iverson, 26 points per game. He was his teammates a little bit better out there than, uh, well, then again, it's like, he didn't really have teammates back on that 76ers team. Matumbo was a defensive player. I guess he won, like, defensive player of the year. But that's really it. See my playoffs so you guys can all see wins here. I uh, hope, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like. And also let me know in the comment section below if you want to see some more player switches. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.